I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. I'm confused. I heard another preacher the other day say that the devil can cause plagues just as God can. I thought that plagues were always reserved for God in his judgment. Can the devil cause plagues on the same scale as God? Well, let's pull that question back just a moment. In Colossians chapter 1, it says that everything, including principalities and powers, which are spiritual in nature, are, shall we say, reserved for God's authority and his dispersion as he wills. They submit unto him. And in fact, the book of Job is a classic example that whom we know is Satan cannot do, cannot act anywhere outside of the realm of the authority of what God has given him for that temporary short period of time. So let's talk about plagues. Obviously, we know about the plagues in Exodus that God brought upon Egypt because they would not let his people go. We see the plagues that are in the book of Revelation, specifically at the end times. And you do see all throughout scripture that the one who implements these plagues as a form of judgment is God himself. Now, the question becomes, could God allow Satan to implement a plague? Well, of course he could. Now, you don't see that he can do it on his own free will and volition. He does not have the right to, shall we say, uh, cause it to, to come into existence nor implement it. It must be done by and in the authority of God himself. So if God so chooses to bring a plague at the hands of the devil, then that's God's right. And that's God, his ability. Read the book of Job. It kind of plays out that way. All that being said, it doesn't matter who you are, I am, or even the devil is. All of us are subjected to the parameters that God gives us. So if he wants to allow Satan to bring a plague to a country, a place, a person, a family, then God has his reasons for doing so. But you will never see Satan ever implement a plague, destruction, death, turmoil to anything of his own free will and volition. He must receive the authority by God in order to implement it, for which reasons God alone oftentimes knows. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.